everyone welcome to another music talk tuesday and today i thought it'd be interesting to briefly dive into my thoughts in regards to whether or not the beatles are overrated as a band i think this is a question that a lot of uh, music people or people who enjoy listening to music or at least in particular like 1960s music have been asking only because the beatles have received received a significant amount of recognition over the years um, and have gone down as one of the best bands in all of history. Uh, and I think it's definitely steps to say why that is, and I sort of understand the huge and significant hype that the Beatles had around when their popularity started. Um, they sort of paved the way for various other artists to come about and sort of showcase their work too, so I think... It's definitely safe to say that the Beatles have been heavily emphasized and I think there is a sense of them sort of being allowed to sort of receive this significant amount of praise and recognition. But uh, I also understand the part of the argument to where it's almost like the Beatles were sort of the only one and only band, so to speak. In other words, that there were no other artists that sort of came that lived up to the caliber, I guess, of the Beatles or were just as impressive or as good as the Beatles, you know? So I sort of sit in between this yes or no answer to the question of whether or not the Beatles are overrated. I think I understand the praise and I understand the... Uh, awards and the uh, the amount of talent that the Beatles had and yet I also recognize that um, they did get a lot of uh, recognition that ended up transferring I think over a lot more significantly than a lot of other bands that came within that sort of 60s era and uh, I think that's sort of unfortunate only because I think there was a lot of other good material that came out during that period. And I think to only attribute it to just the Beatles, I think is sort of a little bit disingenuous to those other uh, musicians who actually did put out a lot of interesting material and sort of shaped the culture in the era as well. So I, I, I understand sort of both sides of the argument here. Um, and I think a lot of the, a lot of what had to do with the Beatles' success had a lot to do with their uh, ability to market, sort of, and really gain the niche of the younger tween and teen demographic. Uh, and, uh, I think also a lot of their songs were fairly relatable and, um, really, uh, captured the sort of happiness and the imagination of that era um, but so did a lot of other artists uh, back in that time period so I think on the one hand the Beatles I think deserve their their heyday at the same time there is I think this overemphasis in attributing the Beatles as to being the only uh, band or musicians that were really around during the time, which I think is a little bit ridiculous because there were a lot of musicians that came out of the 60s era that were really impressive and really got a lot of recognition and became fairly memorable. I guess the way in which the Beatles got their caliber, I think a lot of that not only had to do with the marketing, but also the fact that a lot of their songs were sort of played on the radio, that a lot of their songs were carried on over from generation to generation to generation. And it seemed like a lot of the other artists that came from that era, only a couple of songs or maybe a handful of them kind of transferred over as well. So I think that's why the Beatles too had, a, had more of a staying power. Uh, as opposed to a lot of other artists that came around during this period as well. So, again, I think this can be due a lot to a variety of different factors. Um, and, uh, but at the same time, I still think that there is something to be said as far as, um, 
you know, the amount of emphasis that is put on this particular band, especially when, again, there were a lot of impressive, there was a lot of impressive material within that era, and there was a lot of impressive material that came after and even before that. So, you know, it's it's almost like we attribute, I think, the Beatles to the sort of success of music, but really there's a lot of other material out there that was uh, not only well done during the time period, but also came before that was also really well constructed and put together well, and a lot that came afterward that was very impressive and unique and interesting as well. So again, it's it's just one of those things where it, it just kind of, there's just a certain amount of, I think, redundancy that people have as far as the Beatles are concerned, you know, because they're constantly being emphasized, they're constantly being played on radio, they're constantly being hammered in over and over and over again. Oh, weren't the Beatles great? Oh, weren't they wonderful? Oh, weren't they impressive? Didn't they do a lot of things for music? Yes, they did. They did all of those things. But at the same time, I can understand people thinking that, you know, it would be nice to kind of explore more of the people that were not on that same caliber that the Beatles were. And I think that's, that's, I think, the approach and at least the opinion that I sort of have behind this whole, whole question. Uh, but I'd be more than happy to hear what anybody else has to say and what they think as far as the Beatles are concerned. Uh, but I think that's really all I can say, though, as far as this, uh, topic but thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a pleasant day week month and year and i will see you all in the next video take care